so hello everyone today we will be solving problem d of code forces around div3 so i hope you have already read the problem and tried it yourself so let's go through the problem so problem says dimitri has a string s which is consisting of lower case latin letters so dimitri decided to remove two consecutive character from the string s and uh, we, you are wondering how many different strings can be obtained after such operation so here we have an example so suppose dimitri has a string triple a b c c and you get the following different strings so we get a b c c by deleting the first two or second and third character so suppose in this string if we delete the first two a then we will get a b c c so here we have a b c c suppose we delete the character at the index 2 and 3 then we we get a b c c so here we have a b c c or suppose we delete the third and fourth character which is this is third and fourth character then we will get a a c c so here we have a a c c or suppose we delete the fourth and fifth characters which is these two characters then we will be having the string as a a a b so a a b so now what we have to find is we have to find how many different strings can be obtained after such an operation so here we have a b c c a a c c and a a a b so here we can say three different strings however it can vary from test cases to test cases so let's say we have a string as a a a b c c so let's go to the whiteboard and so suppose this is the this is the string we have so if we if we remove the first two a then we will be having a b c c so let's say we remove this two a then we will be having a b c c suppose we remove this a and b so we will be having the string as a a c c suppose we remove b and c so then we will be having a a a b and suppose we remove the last two characters that is these two c then we will be having a a a b so here this one and this and this are same string so we won't count it twice so here we have one string two string three string and four string so here we have here we have four different string so let's see what is the answer in the test case so here we have the answer as four so i hope you have already understood the understood the problem what we have to do now the problem occurs when we when we have two different string when by removing the consecutive characters so let's say here the given string was a a e b c c so we can see that if we remove this two a a or this two a then we get the same string so obviously we can't use the brute force here by checking all the strings obtained because that will be o of n square and that will give you time limit exceeded so we have to observe the problem if there is any crux so one thing you can see is this is a palindrome so this is a palindrome so in this palindrome we are only counting once so let me give you another example so suppose we, we have a string as a b a b a so here we, if we remove these two first two characters then the resultant string will be a b a if we remove these two characters then the resultant string again will be a b a if we remove these two characters then the resulting string again will be a b a and if we remove the last two characters then also the resultant string will be a b a so you can see all the resultant string is same and here answer will be one so what i want you to observe here is we will uh, what will we do we will always look at the palindrome of size 3 and if we find the palindrome of size 3 we won't do anything and we will just go to the next character so here what will we do a b a b a so first we will we will have a answer as 0 so here 1 here a so we will check if there is a palindrome of size 3 or not including a so this is a palindrome so we won't do anything we will go to the next character so now again we will check if there is a palindrome of size 3 or not yes there is a palindrome of size 3 so we won't increase answer and we go to the next character now we again see if we have a palindrome of size 3 or not so here we have a palindrome of size 3 so we won't do anything and we go to the next character 
now when we come to the second last character we can't look for the pin drop of size 3 so when we go to the second last character we 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 know that if we if we remove these two characters we are going to have a string of some string except these two characters so then in that case answer will be increased by one so let's take another example from the test case so that it will be more clear so let's take this let's take this example so suppose we have a given a string as given a string as a b a c a b a so again here answer is suppose zero so we check we are at index zero so we check if there is a palindrome of size three yes this is a palindrome of size three we don't do anything we go to the next character we check if there is a palindrome of size three yes no this is not a palindrome of, palindrome of size three so we increase the answer by one because when we remove b and a the then resultant string will be a c a b a now again we go to the next character so is there a palindrome of size 3 yes a c a is a palindrome so we don't increase answer and we go to the next character now again we see if there is a palindrome of size 3 no there is not a palindrome of size 3 then we remove is c and a and we get a string edge a b a b a so here answer will be 2 and the, again we go to the next character we see if there is a palindrome of size 3 yes there is a palindrome of size 3 we don't do anything and we go to the next character now we don't have a palindrome of size 3 so what we do we increase the answer as answer by 1 and now the new string we have is a b a c a so you can see you, you can see all these three strings are different so in this case you always only you are always counting only the unique strings so why am i saying you are always counting only the unique strings so let's see here we had a c a so if you remove this a c or you or this c a the resultant string will be same so how let's see a b if we suppose we are removing this a and c then we have a resultant string as a b a b a suppose we are not removing this a c and we are removing this c a then we have resultant string as a b a b a so this will be same so that's why we are Whenever we are encountering a palindrome of size 3, we are just increasing our index, our pointer and looking for looking for the next next substring. So in this case, whenever you are not finding a palindrome, then we definitely know that if we remove the two characters, suppose here we have A, B, C, D. So here this is not a palindrome, A, B, C is not a palindrome. So we know that if we remove A, B or B, C, it, in this case answer will be different for both the cases so we just increase the answer by one and we go to the look for the next two consecutive characters so again we look for the if this is a substring is a palindrome or not why because if this substring is a palindrome let's say it was a b c b then if whether you remove b c or c b answer will be same because Suppose we are removing BC, then answer will be AB. Or we are removing CB, then answer will also be AB. So we have to count only once. So I hope my solution is clear. So let me go walk you through the code. So this is my code. So here, so here we, we are taking the input and the string. So initially my answer variable is 0. So what am I doing is I am going to kill the second last character. So why second last till second last characters? because because let's say this was your string so when you go to the this character b so we are we are checking if b a is if we remove b a we get a unique string or not obviously we will get a unique string if we remove the last character b a and after b a we don't have to look further because then we have only one character and we have to remove two consecutive characters so there is no point going after b a so then we are looking till the second last character so suppose if you are already at the second last character then we just increase the answer by one and we break out of the loop and uh, either we check if s of i equals to s of i plus 2 why s of i equals to i plus 2 suppose we are at the we are at the first index so this is the first index so we check if this is equals to this because if this is equals to this then this is the palindrome of size 3 so that's in that in that case we don't do anything and we move our pointer to the next 
character. So, so when we have SI equals to SI plus two, we continue. Otherwise, we increase answer and we move our pointer to the next character. And finally, we return the answer. So I hope my answer was clear to you all. If you have, if you still have any doubt, you can post it into the comment, and I will try to answer your doubt. So thank you for watching. Bye bye.